You guys just never learn, do you? An old guy with a shotgun is not someone to be messing with. Just saying. Yeah, bury your head, dude. It's exactly what you need to do. You should be ashamed of yourself. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to start moving some stuff over to our new location. Uh, so as you saw in the opening montage there, I've spent quite a bit of time. In fact, it's day 45, so a couple of days, really, um, in-game days, uh, mining, or more specifically, burrowing a tunnel uh, through the mountains. So I did... Uh, I did consider, give more consideration, I should say, to using this road. And I even started building a ramp down through here. And it's just, it was, it was a lot of work. And I figured, you know what? It makes more sense to just dig a tunnel through the mountain because we'll get a lot of resources. We'll get a lot of XP. Then, you know, once it's done, we have a, a nice flat um, you know, road to get through instead of having to climb up a really steep hill. And I just, you know, scrapped the whole idea of trying to utilize this road. Um, so anyway, uh, as I showed you in the, uh, montage there, we got two, uh, new points. We're about halfway to the next level. And I put those points into 69er and heavy armor. And um, so we are right at about our halfway point here. And this room here is going to be our smelting room. And so basically um, all the way down here, I have um, started carving out this room here, but it's going to be, this is all the stone, by the way, <laughs> that I've uh, uh, been able to get from all of the mining that we've done so far. Um, and then we also have some other resources because along here, you know, we've got nitrate, we've got lead, we've got coal, uh, we have iron, we have pretty much everything. You know, I ran into uh, pretty much everything except for, um, wait a minute, nitrate, lead, iron, coal. And so, you know, the advantage, of course, is that everything's under a mountain. So this is all the way to bedrock here. And so I figured, well, what I'll do is I'll set a smelting room up down here and then we can smelt, you know, to our heart's content. And I don't think a screamer would ever be able to even figure out how to get down here because, you know, even if it attracts them, you know, we're right pretty much as almost at the highest point that these mountains go uh, in terms of the surface. And, this, you know, the screamers would be way the hell up there and what the hell are they going to do, right? Wander around and try and figure out where it's 
where it is, I, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they could burrow all the way down here, but I'd like to see it. <laughs> I really would. So anyway, I figured what we'd do is we'd make a smelting room down here. And uh, here's where we'll make all of our concrete. I mean, anything that, re, you know, generates heat, um, chemistry benches, smelters. Now, I'll probably have one smelter and a chem, chem bench and workbenches at our our base, too. But, I mean, the bulk of the work I think we'll do down here. Uh, all right. So, anyway, let's see here. We I, I would really like to continue moving towards the motorcycle uh, before we start doing any significant moving. And, you know, we are, let's see, we're six magazines away from that motorcycle. So what I think I want to do is I want to just travel to all of the traders. I don't even remember, you know, when they reset, but travel to all the traders and see if we can buy six more vehicle magazines in order to get to the motorcycle. Because the motorcycle is A, going to be faster and B, going to carry more stuff. Um, and then that way it'll make our move over here a little bit better. Okay, so um, let's see here. Why don't we, uh, if we pick this up, it should put the gas. Oh, no, we got to take the gas out first. I just want to turn this around and go the other way because I've checked Trader Jin already. And she is, uh, she didn't have any motorcycle magazines. Or, or I'm sorry, vehicle magazines. So. Uh, can we, oh, we might need to, oh, there we go. Okay. Let's put that fuel in there. And, you know, we have, uh, we have three Trader Bobs, uh, in the desert. So we could go check all of them guys. And it seems to me like they would have the best chance of having vehicle magazines because they are the vehicle traders. So I think what we'll do is we'll go you know check them first and then we'll kind of see where we at we can also go up to trader hume we can check check the two trader joels and if need be go back into the forest biomes and check the trader rex and i think we have a pretty decent chance uh you know between all of the traders that we've uncovered of coming up with six vehicle magazines uh, at least that's the theory i don't know maybe not we'll see but we're gonna give it a try I mean, and we can also check vehicles themselves. However, you know, we don't have any points in mechanics. So, um, uh, you know what? I'm going to even just check that. So I don't know if we can find vehicle magazines in vehicles without any points in, in mechanic. Um, when I say mechanic, I'm specifically talking about uh, intellect grease monkey. So, I think it's still possible. It's just probably a lot less likely. But, you know, we can check all the vehicles and we can loot whatever else is inside of them. And then, you know, because we have... Oh, look at... That's all good shit right there. We can, um, you know, get other stuff too, which is useful. Case in point, right? Uh, let's go over to our drop boxes that I currently have at the other mansion. And we'll just drop a few things off here so we have more room in our inventory. Um, I think at this point, I don't want either one of those things. I'm going to be kind of selective right now about, you know, what we loot. Just to save space and all that. Take all that stuff, and we'll put it in the box over here. You know, the more I think about it, um, the more I think that we will probably actually have our main base at the Zuckerberg place. Unless, you know, we, you know we're going to go over there and we're going to clear it. And if, you know, if I come across some real significant reason why that's not a good idea... You know, then we could, of course, change our, our mind. But uh, until then, I think I would prefer to go there than here. Uh, let's put all of our mining gear in here because I'm done mining for now. Um, and we'll take 
Let's see. Two stacks of shotgun shells are fine. Two stacks of 762. We'll keep our money with us, obviously. And um, all of this stuff, I think we can put in here. We'll keep the medical stuff. And let's keep the tools with us, too, just because you never know, right? You never know. And we have all the space on the bike, too. I think I've already checked this vehicle, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go check the Trader Bob's first, and we'll hit vehicles also along the way and see what happens. And any newsstands or mailboxes that we haven't... I don't know if I've gotten these yet or not. I haven't. Okay. Well, there we go. Um, adds a small chance to mine rare gems from ore. We also finished Shotgun Messiah. So now we can one-shot most wood blocks, big whoopee, and we can bulk craft all shotgun ammo. I mean, again, I, I've just actually had some conversation with one of you guys in the comments about bulk crafting. I agree that bulk crafting is useful and it's cheaper than normal crafting. I agree with that. But I don't agree that it's that great of a reward. You know, I really don't. I think we should get something a little bit better than that when we finish an entire book series. And that's just my opinion. You guys can disagree with me. And that's okay. It's a free country. We can all have our own opinions, right? But that's just how I feel about it. So. Okay, we'll take that. I don't think we'll take that. And we'll harvest some coyote. Because who wouldn't want to harvest some coyote? I don't want either one of those things. I mean, with a little bit of luck, we'll find the Wasteland magazine that allows us to make mineral water before we... Right, we got Spear Hunter, Paper... Oh, I guess I started maybe checking those and didn't get them all finished. That would be uh, appear to be the situation there. No crawling allowed. You need to stay up on two legs and be a respectable zombie like all other zombies? I don't know. Uh, here's some news stands over here. Didn't get that dude's attention. Uh, forge ahead. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's what we were looking for. And we're finished with the wasteland. Let's take a look and see what that reward is. I don't even remember. Uh, wasteland treasures. Find more legendary parts. That's pretty damn good. Okay, so case in point, that's a really good reward. But bulk crafting as the end, end reward, you know, just not my cup of tea, I guess. You can disagree with me again, huh? Totally. Please do disagree with me if you don't agree with it, but that's just how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we got another great heist. Let's see what that does. Find 10% more silver, gold, and diamonds when looting. Okay. Considering the fact that we find silver, gold, and diamonds when looting about maybe one thousandth of a percent of the time, I don't know how useful that is. <laughs> but maybe it's useful. I don't know. Okay. Why did I just harvest that? I don't know. Let's get rid of that shit. Let's check this army vehicle. Um, Miso... Miso doesn't have any recipes, right? It does not. Okay, let's just take that now. Uh, I, I do actually need to eat, and you know what? Let's just do it. And we'll, we also need to drink. I had quite a bit of food and, and water and, or tea on me and stuff, but... You know, when you mine for almost two days straight in this game, that stuff disappears pretty quickly. Yes, it does. That's bullshit. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. We have a mailbox and one lootable car right here. Uh, 
don't want any of that. Hey. Okay, let's go this way. Goddamn birds. Here's some new stance. Guys just never learn, do you? An old guy with a shotgun is not someone to be messing with. Just saying. Okay, that's salvaging. Paper. Got a medical book. And another fireman's almanac. Do 10% more damage to coal and burnt wood. That's pretty nice. Yeah, bury your head, dude. It's exactly what you need to do. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's see what this car has. Ooh, that's kind of nice, but we already have better. Um, don't care about that. Don't care about that. Let's take a small bandage here. All right, let's see. What are we doing? We're slowly working our way to Trader Bob. Um, we should probably hit that treasure, too. Why not, right? Might as well. There's a couple of vehicles we can check. That, that, and that. Not this. Paper. And that stuff. We'll sell all these extra books to Bob. Take the wheel. This wheels tend to be valuable. Uh, neither. We have a more power truck here. There we go. Ah, uh, shit. Let's take that and we'll sell it. Might as well. Okay, so five more magazines, ladies and gentlemen. I guess we're at a dead end down here. Excuse me. A couple of vehicles over here we could check. more actually uh yeah so anyway case in point you don't need any points in grease monkey to find vehicle books in cars but i'm i'm sure that it increases the chances i don't know what the hell's in here but let's check we got a crate of some sort. Shaka Messiah crate. Oh, nice. That's pretty good shit. And Biker Messiah. He's dead, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just making sure. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave the cement this time. Normally I would take cement, but... We're sort of kind of on the road at the moment, so. Okay, forge ahead. Ah, we can make the crucible. It's a good day, guys. This is a fucking good day, man. I'm telling you what. Take all of that, except for not that. I'm only taking all this extra shit because I'm going to be able to sell it to uh, to Bob when we go over there. And I don't think we want 50 gunpowder. 
Let's leave that one slot open for something good. Uh, we'll not take that stuff. We check that vehicle, right? Okay. It's a good day. Take both of those things. Okay, let's go sell all the shit to Bob and see if he has any more vehicle magazines. We need five more. Clubs. Not a fan. I mean, clubs are a, a decent weapon. They're just not my, my favorite. I'm not saying they're terrible. I'm going to be pretty good. Alright, uh, we don't have anything in there. Let's fuel. And stuff we're not gonna sell but keep, let's put in here. Well, I'll be. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you too, my friend. I got vehicles so shiny, they'll blind you in the noonday sun. That sounds good to me. Where are they? Okay, we'll sell all the shit to him. Um, yeah, let's sell 15 of those. Uh, I wanna keep the paper, actually. He can have that shit. All of the... Oh, God damn it! I just sold the medical book to him. I didn't mean to. Oh, well. It's all right. Uh, medical books are pretty damn common, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, he can have this blue axe. And I think... Um, yeah, let's get let's sell the 44s, too. If we weren't, quote-unquote, on the road, I wouldn't have done that. But we we're on the road, so... Okay, dude. Come on, vehicle magazines. Oh, you're killing me, man. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, there's our medical journal. <laughs> we just sold it. We're not buying it back for like five times the price. Ah, tools Digest. I want to... Okay, you know what? We're going to buy these because I want to be able to make the epic steel pick. I can make the blue one, but I want to make the epic one because then we'll be able to one-shot stone. And that'll make digging that tunnel... Uh, faster and some even seem to think that the purple I mean depending on how you have it kitted out modded and so forth that the purple pick is even better than the auger is um, I don't know if that's true or not but anyway uh, let's see don't think we're going to take anything else from you you've got a green impact driver which is nice what do you got for weaponry Right. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Okay, not not quite there yet. We gotta be getting damn close though on the harvesting tools. Four more. Okay. Four more to get to the purple pickaxe. Steel pickaxe. Alright, we have two more bobs in the desert here to check. Let's do it. We're going for a road trip, baby. And we'll continue checking vehicles uh, as we go along. Where are you? Get your ass over here. Over here, Skinny Pete. Hey. Mm. Okay, I'm going to take them for now, but we might dump those later because we're on the road. And we'll scrap this. Okay, let's go. We can make spaghetti. Um, is that the that's like the last one, right? For cooking? Food. Uh, no, gumbo's the last one. Okay, I thought spaghetti was the last one, but I guess it's gumbo. Gotcha. All right, ten more of those books and we're good to go. I'll come back later and salvage all these cars. I'm not going to do it right now, but that'll be on the to-do list. Don't, don't care about that. All right, we got a bunch of cars we can check here. We'll take all of that. Yeah. 
Let's park right there. That's a nice find. Um, nope, don't want that, don't want that. We'll uh, just end up selling that, of course, but. Nope. Any of these fuel tanks have gas? We'll take that. Uh, I don't want any of this stuff. Nope. There we go. Hmm. I'm going to leave that in there. I hate to throw that stuff away, but you know what? I want that. Let's do this. Let's put the corn, potatoes, and corn seed together. Because that is valuable stuff. It's just not something that's a high priority right now. We'll take that and that and ditch this. We'll see if we can get up to seven pieces of cloth and then we can... Make a duct tape. Speaking of which, there's two duct tape right there. Um, if we take these apart, we get cloth, right? There's, uh, no, that's five pieces. All right. Recipes, duct tape. We can come up with five more pieces of cloth. I don't want to destroy that tin, though. That's six. One more. Uh, these will give us grass fibers, I think. What's, what's in here? Nope. Don't want that shit. I don't want that shit either. <laughs> Here's a tent. We take it apart. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, so I think we've looted this whole place. We haven't uh, done the inside, of course, but I don't want to do that right now. Let's see. Let's get moving. Unless we want to just cheese the main loot, uh, which we could do. Uh, let's get rid of this. There we go. You guys need to die the first time I hit you. Come on. Okay, who's still after us? Somebody in another room, maybe? Okay, I'm not worried about them. Let's come down here and get some gas. Oh! Shit! It's gonna fuck me up a little bit, didn't you? Uh, I think we have a, uh, yeah, we have a steroid. I don't have time for broken legs and shit like that. We just don't. All right, what's in here? Um, we'll read that. Take those. Break the door that was already unlocked. Uh, whoop. Get. Okay. Uh, up here. Oh, God damn it. I'm trying to. Oh, I can't jump because of that. That's what the deal is. Okay. 
We'll add that to there, and I guess we're, I guess we have paper. Definitely want that stuff. And then we'll unlock this. We already have one of those. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll take the rest of that. We can sell most of that to the next trader, Bob. Okay, let's go. sell that let's get rid of that for that and we don't give a shit about those check all mailboxes What are those worth? 138 coin. Uh, let's get rid of the cobblestone. On our way with Tools Digest there. Uh, where are we going? We need to go to Trader Bob over there. So. What's that worth? 60? Um, I don't think so. Not worth that much money. A couple of new stands over here. Elsner's Emporium. Take that for selling. Leaving glue behind. Uh, let's switch out the glue for the spores. And guns. Jerry's fill. That's worth 184 coin. Um, that's only worth 10. Okay. No, not you. You. All right. Hey, we're uh, we're running out of time. So what else is new? It's all right. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. And if we run out of time, we run out of time. Except for I would like to get to Bob before the end of the day. Just so we can sell some of this extra shit we got, right? That mailbox, those mailboxes have been checked. Apparently I did that earlier. Because I don't think there's anybody else in this game world that checks mailboxes besides me. If there are, that is cause for concern. We're supposed to die on that hit. Sent that motherfucker flying, didn't we? The animal hoarder. Uh, do we have one of those? Yeah, we do. How much is that worth? 115 versus what? Uh, I don't know. 138. We're going to leave it. We don't have time. We're running out of time here. That's worth 115 too. Okay. Maybe we'll grab those some other time. Well, looky here. 
I didn't come. Well, slap my toolbox and call me a mechanic. I'm not going to be slapping your toolbox, dude. Sorry. Um, we'll sell all that stuff. You can have that. You can have those. You can have all the brass. You can have all the headlights, all the plastic, the shotgun. Those. You can have the, those. Um, you can have this, because I already have one. I think we want to save everything else. Okay, do you have a vehicle magazine? Mother... Ugh, he doesn't. Damn it, Jim! Alright, let's buy these tools digests anyways. Uh, Alright. Just look and see what he has here real quick. All right, Bob, I'm disappointed, I gotta say. There we go. Okay, so we can now make an epic or a purple steel pick, which we will do. Um, So that we can, and that should be able to allow us to one shot stone. And we'll make dig in the rest of that tunnel much faster. Damn it, Jim, where are you? Jim? You're not Jim. You're Pete. Um, we might be able to make it to the other Bob if we don't stop and do this. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No more stopping. We're going straight to the other Bob. See if we can get there on time. See if he has any more vehicle magazines. Howdy. You name it. Old Bob's got it. Uh, you got one. Okay, nice. Um. Okay, I think that's all we're interested in from him as far as magazines go. Just taking a look at his weapons and all that kind of thing. All right, let's sell a couple things to him. You can have that, and you can have the oil. And I think that's all I actually want to sell to you, bro. You can't beat that with a stick. All right, so I think that means we're four magazines away now from... Yeah, we're four away from the motorcycle. So it's too late for me to get to any, any of the other traders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, start working my way back home. Home as in our original home because I'm out of food and... Uh, well, yeah, we'll take that. I'm now out of food and water. <laughs> um, and I'm going to continue just, you know, checking cars and duffel bags and mailboxes and shit like that along the way. But we do need to actually get home. And then when we get there, uh, you know, I, I think we're just going to start moving. Because we'll get the motorcycle eventually, but it's, we still don't have it. And... Um, we, we need to get rolling, you know, on the move, moving business. So I think the first order of business for that's going to be to grab our workstations and bring those down to our underground, um, uh, smelting facility. And, you know, so that way we can get started on resources because we're, we're good to go on the horde base, right? So we'll be ready to go for the next horde night. Uh, as far as that goes. And then, uh, you know, just keep working on trying to get the motorcycle as soon as possible. So that is the plan stand. But I already checked this one. I didn't. Oh, Nice. I think actually I'll take all that stuff. But, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. And um, I'll just keep the camera rolling if anything crazy happens and show that to you. There's a hole in the road uh, in the next episode. And uh, with that being said, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. Catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Hey, look at that. Nice.
three away.